Two decades ago, Fake introduced a technical artist to a 3D software known as Blender. But that wasn't a mere case of luck, because several years later, after successfully pursuing his dream of becoming a game developer, he eventually assembled an exceptional team to build a tool that went on to change the way we deal with skies, light, and atmosphere inside Blender, which are the core elements of any good CGI scene. So what is this tool in question, and how did the developer go from graduating in traditional etching to creating something really important for Blender artists? I wanted to let you guys know that the Blender market is having right now a huge winter sale with 25% discount on thousands of Blender products from add-ons, courses, shaders, you name it. Also, if you don't know where to start, I have in the description of this video a list of the best add-ons and courses that can take your projects to the next level. Without further ado, let's jump right in. If you have never heard of it, Physical Starlight and Atmosphere is a completely volumetric and procedural sky, sunlight, and atmosphere simulator for Blender. To not bore you down with all the details and the technical terms, the idea is, instead of relying on pre-rendered images such as HDRIs, we can say that this volumetric procedural system is a digital sky that is created on the fly inside of your 3D scenes which is both dynamic and can interact directly with your 3D environment, which is fantastic. But before diving into more details, I want to tell you how it got here in the first place. It all began with Martinj, a technical artist who, in an interview he kindly conducted with Inspiration Tuts, highlighted how his journey started with his art studies back in 1998, and then his subsequent graduation from the prestigious Academy of Arts in Latvia in 2010. He explained that during his early years, he was introduced to the incredible world of 3D at school. However, at the time, he chose to pursue a degree in traditional etching instead, a type of gravure printmaking, which is done with the use of acid to hold the ink into a copper plate. But little did he know that Destiny had different plans for him. To get to that point in time, Martin recalled how he acquired an iMac G4 as his first computer, which he started using to pursue his long-lasting dream of becoming a game developer, an ambition that began with him trying different aspects of the field. At first, it was creating concept art for games, then he moved on to learn coding, and ultimately discovering shading as his real passion. This led him to find a job as a shader artist for a VR medical training simulator company. And since then, he worked for various companies in the same field for 10 years. But the question now is, where is Blender in all of this? The origins of this add-on can be traced back to the era when the developer was still in the middle of his medical simulator career. During this time, he developed a set of tools for himself to speed up his work which he then later generously shared for free on the Blender Artist forums. But how did this lead to the creation of the add-on called Physically Starlight and Atmosphere? Unfortunately, there was kind of a dark side to the story. After facing struggles with burnout and the loss of motivation in 2018, coupled with some personal events that were coming his way, he decided it was time for change. And through these challenges, he decided to leave his current work and took his Skylight system to revamp it into the physical starlight and atmosphere add-on that we all know. While the first prototype dates back to 2010, it was in 2018 when the developer created a shader node setup that formed 70% of what the add-on is nowadays. During the first year, he took charge of the updates and support alone, but eventually he hired his brother who is, according to his words, a proper software engineer. Over time, the team expanded to include a total of seven individuals, and reflecting on his journey, he expressed his enthusiasm about the experience, but still with a touch of realism as he stated, the experience so far has been really exciting. Having my own business has been one of my life goals, but nonetheless, running a company, managing a team, and making and supporting an add-on is not a passive income. It is a full-time job 
and can take a lot of toll on your private life. Now, when it comes to the add-on itself, honestly, it is a complete system, which has all the features we can dream of as 3D artists. And this is not just me praising the add-on, as it genuinely meets and even exceeds our expectations because for starters, it has an easy to understand user interface that can allow even beginners to create stunning visuals with ease, such as a section for sun, atmosphere, and clouds. Speaking of these, we can use a series of work parameters to create all sorts of looks and moods, such as the sun size and brightness, a procedural atmosphere system to adjust things like density, height color, and even the stars, clouds, and other stuff. On top of this, it features a collection of pre-made presets that we can use to save both time and effort, or even to get inspired as you can use it as a starting point, especially if you are not sure about the look that you are going for. And you have different options, such as presets for Earth, Mars, or even Retrowave. This add-on also works on both Cycles and EV, and it is based on photometric measurements of sun and sky luminance which helps you achieve a high level of realism, while still offering a high degree of real-time rendering, speed and performance during both the editing and playback of your projects. And for further information about the add-on, you can check the add-ons page. Achieving all of this is not an easy feat, and so, to take on the challenge of this magnitude, the developer disclosed his unique workflow to handle it. He explained that he started by doing a market research to figure out what type of people need it and if those requests are within his field of experience. But that's not all, because there is another side of the story. So what is it? Well, it is by asking himself the very important question of determining if he would be motivated to work on it for at least a year full time. I mean, after all, this type of project needs a lot of commitment and quitting in the middle is not a good option. The next step for him is pinpointing the main features that would make it better than already existing products. So he started writing down the requirements to achieve this mission and a very rough roadmap, as well as whether the return on investment would justify the time and cost spent on it. After that, he moved on to designing a prototype of each feature and writing down how he imagined himself putting it all together. But it is not as simple as it may sound, as he highlighted that his biggest struggle is finding solutions around Blender's limitations and optimizing it to minimize the hardware requirements. And then last but not least is the actual product development and all of the tasks that come with managing a team, such as meetings, spreadsheets, and so on. In today's Blender community, physical starlight and atmosphere is considered by many the standard when it comes to creating realistic looking skies. And while the quality of this add-on is undeniable, the developer further emphasized the role of the sheer strength of Blender in all of this. As he stated, it has never been my goal to become popular. I gained success through my work, not my face. But I also credit it to just being active in the Blender community for 20 years. I got to the Blender conference almost every year, so people naturally began to remember me, the same as I began to remember others. The Blender community is amazing, so avid and diverse, exceptionally friendly and open. It is easy to blend in, especially as an introvert like me. Almost 100% of my career has been working in Blender. The community has changed my life dramatically, to the point where I cannot imagine my life would be otherwise. So there you have it guys, this is the story behind creating physical starlight and atmosphere. And if you are interested in creating beautiful atmospheres, skies and so on, you can take a look at the description down below to use it in your own projects and to support the developer. So I hope you found this video useful and informative, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.